The clock is ticking. Those living at two homeless encampments in Philadelphia must be out by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Hello, I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off tonight. The eviction notice was posted today after weeks of failed negotiations, but not all city leaders support the move. Alexandria Hoff is in Spring Garden with why this could backfire for the city. Hi, Alex. Well, hi, Jessica. Well, it could backfire in the sense that some extra people, additional people, may very well show up. The Philadelphia Housing Action is the organizing group behind the two encampments. Not only have they said that they will not be leaving, they have also invited additional people to show up tonight and to help secure barricades for tomorrow. By 9 a.m. Tuesday, homeless individuals who have taken up residence in two city encampments must vacate. The notice was given Monday morning, over two months after the site was formed on a baseball field on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. It has since grown to contain upwards of 120 people with a secondary encampment at 20th and Ridge. We are sick and we are tired. Nobody should be homeless. Organizers and supporters regard the sites as active protests over issues of affordable housing, refusing to leave without the city meeting a set of demands. An earlier July 10th deadline to clear out was postponed for negotiations, where the city had agreed to several housing options and a community land trust. Quote, the continued shifting of camp leaders' demands and the fact that some of their repeated demands are out of the city's control or unachievable in the time frame that they demand all contribute to this difficult decision, said Mayor Jim Kenney in a statement. In a Monday night letter to the mayor, city council members Kendra Brooks and Jamie Gautier requested the mayor reconsider, quote, we worry that clearing the city's two protest encampments after so much work has already been done will undoubtedly make those commitments more difficult to realize. The city spokesperson says they are hopeful that compliance will be voluntary. Outreach officers will provide storage for belongings and transportation to housing. Now, over the past two months, we have heard from concerned neighbors, especially on the parkway, about signs of addiction and even violence that they say they have seen coming from the camp. Now, the city says once people do leave the encampment, they will go through and clean and reseed that field. Reporting from the Spring Garden section of the city, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.